So Chris, to you, brothers and sisters, um, I think it's been over a month since I last made a podcast for this channel. Um, the thing is, I don't like to record something when I don't feel like doing it. Um, I don't want to do, I don't want to upload videos on this channel for the sake of uploading um, without ever putting effort or at least um, think things through. So when I don't feel like making a podcast, um, I, I, I prefer not to. Um, or if I, even if there's something that I could respond to in the public when I don't feel it, um, when I don't have that conviction of um, actually doing something, um, I don't want to emphasize my feelings here, but um, when I'm not convicted to, to, to respond to something, um, I prefer not to do it. Um, there were a lot of issues that I could have responded to. I mean, I've been quiet for a month. There were other issues that I could have made podcasts on. I think it's almost two months now um, that I could have responded to, um, but I decided not to um, because um, I was just not in the right space. Um, I was going through some stuff personally, um, and I was also, it, it just got busy um, in the last month, March, but in February, I was just going through some stuff. That's why I wasn't making a lot of videos then, but in March, it just got busy and I was still recovering. So, yeah, that's why I didn't make any videos in the past month. Um, I won't say that I won't do it again. Um, I don't want to make that promise. Um, but I'll do my best to upload as much as I can. Um, yes, but starting first with the James Coat um, situation. Um, Pastor Coates, um, I think he was released last week, Monday or Tuesday. Um, that was the twenty second monday and then the 23rd on tuesday so between those two days um he has been in prison for five weeks um and then for for holding a service during um the pandemic during the COVID restrictions um for violating sorry the COVID restrictions so during the COVID situation so he decided to open his church i i would have responded to that because it happened somewhere mid-feb so it's, it's been over a month already since that. So he's been in prison for five months because when they wanted to release him, he said um, if they release him, or they, the condition was that they were going to release him only if he promises not to preach again or hold a service again. And then he said, um, if you release me, I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to preach. Um, I'm going to do this again. Um, so they decided to keep him there. Um, I remember there was something came out somewhere in early March where they, it said that the, in the same prison where James was, they decided to release a sexual perpetrator, someone who molested children. Um, and the police said that actually the person, there's a possibility that this person might do this again, but decided not to release a pastor, someone who's very, very, um, who's who is very, very helpful to people, especially during this pandemic because he counsels people because people are losing jobs, people are losing their family members, they're losing hope, they're suffering from depression, and they watch their loved ones committing suicides or dying as well. And um, pastors need to counsel people for such things, but they decided to release a criminal instead. So, um, Pastor James Coat was released last week, um, and yeah, we've been praying for him, and I would like you guys to continue to pray for him, um, and we really appreciate a man like him for their boldness. Um, yes, we really appreciate, we thank the Lord, we praise God for such men who stand boldly when a lot of people are compromising. Um, there's not even persecution in most places like Canada. Um, America, there's not even persecution that would compare to China's persecution, but we see Christians compromising at a very, very high rate. Um, please keep him in prayers, and also um, John MacArthur, Pastor John from Grace Community Church, um, or Grace to You Ministries, he is also handling a similar issue where we're with, the, we're with the authorities in California, uh, a state in the United States of America. That was the issue, one thing that I wanted to discuss. Um, second thing is 
the channel itself. Um, you'd notice I respond to a lot of things on the channel. I mean, some people might have categorized this channel as a discernment channel. Um, but yes, uh, we, we could say it's that. Uh, but I want it to be more than that. Um, just exposing false teachers. Um, I, I want to go in deep, um, even exposing cults. But as the time goes by, I want to do studies as well. Um, go through a book. Um, look at some other things from a positive perspective, not always criticizing. Um, I thought that was something that I was going to do this year. Uh, but I um, guess it was not the right time to do it so lord willing i should do it um maybe next year because i don't think i will be able to do it this year but yeah um i want the channel to at least have a vision like that um where we actually deal with some issues i might maybe at a later stage introduce devotionals um maybe have like a devotional some sort of a scripture and some explanation and background something like that um, but those things require research, um, doing studies, it, it requires study, sorry, yeah, it requires studying in depth um, and research. So that's why I have to plan those things properly. Another thing, the channel, um, so that was the first part of the channel. The second part is um, changing the name from On the Truth Ministries to Frontline Christianity. Um, I spoke to a sister um, when while back and some brothers about this um, th that I was thinking of changing the name of the channel to frontline Christianity and um, I've decided I thought I was going to do it at the beginning of last month um, March because I shared this with the Saints um, in February that was two weeks before the end of February I thought I was going to introduce it at the beginning of March but as from probably by the time you watch this it would have been changed but I, I might implement it um, today. I'm recording this on the 30th of March. Um, I might change it today or I might change it on the 1st of April. So to Frontline Christianity, um, I've decided to change the channel to that name. Basically, those are the announcements that I wanted to make and some of the things that uh, I wanted to respond to. Those are the issues. And um, before I leave, just one more update. A volleyball come um, the end of February. He did his surgery. He was recovering. Um, he made another video last week where he explained. I'm going to upload that here on the channel. Um, where he said he was now actually even able to do some exercises, push-ups and sit-ups. So um, we're thanking the Lord that he's finally recovering. Um, may you continue as well to keep him in your prayers. Um one more thing, um, I'm going to start a, some sort, I don't know if I'm going to call it a series, but I'm going to be reviewing the I'm a Bishop's episodes. Um, I'm going to be giving my opinion on how they're dealing with the issues there. Um, I have not been so satisfied with how they are handling that. Uh, I've watched up to the fifth episode now, or five episodes, and I'm not happy. I'm going to do a short um, overview. Of the first four episodes and then there's another one for number five but number five i would like to do a separate a separate podcast for that one so i'm gonna deal with that i'm gonna deal with that today uh, i'm gonna do those videos um separately but i don't know i, I was thinking as well um you, you can share that with me on the comment section i was thinking of rather than making separate videos um, where I respond to one issue on a separate video, probably have one video on a Saturday, maybe up to 20 minutes, where I just respond to different issues. Um, something like, something similar to what James White does with his channel, or what Albert Moller does with the briefing. Um, something similar to that, where I just maybe dedicate up to 20 minutes, where I just respond to different issues at the same time, rather than doing a separate video for everything. But I don't know if that's going to work. Um, please let me know um, if uh, that would be, that would be fine, um, if that would be a right way to deal with this, or is it fine if I do separate videos, because this is time consuming, um, and yeah, because I'm also studying, um, and I am, also working as well and this this channel and then there's another channel 
as well so um i feel like and then there's instagram there's facebook so and i'm one person and i have to run around all these things and if you have noticed i haven't been posting on instagram as well because it, it, um it just gets busy with work and studies to uh, those ones alone so yeah it, it's time consuming and then i have my also um responsibilities in my local church um i also have to serve there um fortunately for now um, I don't have a wife or kids, so I don't have a family that desires my attention. But in future, that might as well happen, um, Lord willing. Um, and as a result, I might have to be able to balance all these things. So I'm trying to find a way to make all this work. Um, because I created a separate channel because I wanted to deal with separate issues on the channel. Um, I've just changed its name, by the way. It's called now. It's now called Bottom Line expressive conversations um that one deals basically with what is happening in the world outside the church everything that is happening in the world outside the church i still haven't decided if i want to discuss political issues on that channel um but i have discussed them in the past but i don't know if i want to continue with them because the goal was to respond to biblical issues but comments that are made about the bible by people who are outside the church while in this one, I keep it to comments that are being made by people from religious perspective, most more specifically to Christianity um, abuses that are happening in the church. Um, but I want to focus also in this channel um, on the truth, which is soon to be frontline Christianity, also on some other things that are being done in other religions. But yeah, um, please keep me in your prayers as I have been thinking a lot around this channel how i'm gonna do everything um yeah it's gonna be a long journey but please do keep me in your prayers i haven't decided on the logo for the new channel i haven't decided um but i have decided if i decide to have one program a week where i discuss all the issues then i would call that one a lifeline um yes um i don't know just come up with these names i don't really have a some sort of a special meaning behind them but yeah basically that's what i wanted to do that maybe you have one program a week and i think that would be more beneficial where i discuss all these issues at once rather than making a separate video because there is there's also like um editing that is involved um pictures that have to be included um mm, yeah, pictures that have to be included, um, videos and all that stuff. So it, it's time consuming to do all that to each and every video because I have to cut the video in an appropriate way manner and I have to wait for it to save and it can take up to an hour or even more to save just one video, especially if it has a lot of things. That's why if you notice on the previous videos, I have avoided to put videos in them on the previous podcast to include videos in them because the videos make the make the uploading or the saving takes longer um and i, I want to avoid that i want to avoid that but i don't know if i'm gonna upload um just final remarks i don't know if i'm gonna upload the episodes on i'm a bishop today but if not today before the end of this week but i'm gonna do two episodes first one that covers um an overview of episode one to four and then a separate one that covers only episode five but after that i'm gonna do one each week that deals with that issue um, of I'm a bishop um, yeah because um, I'm trying to save time and I'm trying to balance between all these channels yes um, but for now that's all from my side now um, if there's anything um, that I forgot and I will mention in some of the videos in future uh, but this is all for now if you have any ideas um, but I would love to hear your views on whether I should do one program um, a week um, or is there, but because this thing of having each video for each situation it, it's actually time consuming I don't know how other people um, do it uh, channels like um, revealing truth um, I don't know because he uploads a video every day I don't know how he does it but yeah he does um, but for me it, it's very difficult um, it's very difficult because of the work that happens in the background um, because uploading the video um, is not the is not the difficult part, or even recording it is not the difficult part of this process. But 
the work that is behind it, right? Getting the right material, um, checking views on sending issues, um, getting the right screenshots, having to crop them, um, ha yeah, having to save them on a separate folder, um, cutting the videos only to the part that I want to review, all that stuff. Um, yeah, it, it's actually time consuming. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that we can make this work. Um, because I, I don't want to reach a point where I'm saying that now I'm no longer, I have to cut some of the channels so that I can create more time. Because this is the main channel. This one is the main one. Um, the other ones are just supporting this. Um, they're just sub channels of this one. But this one is the main, main channel. So I don't want to cut the other ones uh, where I have to cut Instagram out, where I have to cut Facebook out, where I have to cut the second channel out because I have to maintain what I'm doing on this one. But if it, it reaches that point, then I'll, I will have no choice but to go for that. But until next time, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I will see you or you will hear from me on the next podcast. God's blessings.